Navia has just come out in Genshin Impact and she hits like a truck. Navia deals a lot of damage which is a huge positive she owns, yet she also has the positive of being playable in many teams. So to simplify her teams and help you capitalize on her damage, I'm going to share some great teams that really allow Navia to shine. Off the rip, when it comes to building a party for Navia, a good rule of thumb is to pair her with another Geo character. Another Geo unit alongside her will allow for more crystallized shards she can use, enable the Geo resonance, and more benefits. You can pair Navia with pretty much any Geo character, aside from Ito, and they'll work well. Specifically, a great Geo character to fill this role is Zhongli. Shangli's a great choice because of his near unbreakable shield. His shield will make playing Navia much smoother since she can't be hit, in addition to making her a good bit stronger because of the geo resistance shred his shield gives. He's also just a really good all around support for his teams, but we'll get into this later. Now with this specific pairing, you can make all kinds of teams for Navia. Some honorable mentions are reaction teams. If you want to play Navia but still want to perform reactions, you can. For instance, you can easily perform Vape for some extra damage. Likewise, you can perform Taser seamlessly with Navia by playing her with Yalan and Fischl. In addition to reaction teams, you can also play double element teams, which leads us to our first team. You can never go wrong with pairing Bennett and Shunglin together, and the same rule applies to Navia's teams. This team is one of my favorites simply because it's a simple and effective team to use Navia in. Again, because of Shangli, here Navia is much better and played without any worries. 4-piece tenacity will cause for Zhongli's shield to be really strong, in addition to giving Navia a good attack boost. Benny likewise does the same because of his 4 no bless, as well as the Pyro Resonance. Pairing Zhongli and Benny will result in a huge attack boost for Navia to enjoy, as well as Zhongling. Though Shungling's damage will certainly not be as high as it usually is, since there's no reaction for her to perform, nor is she using Kazuo's buff, but the damage she deals is still good and very useful, since her burst will enable Pyro Crystallized Shards to occur at a good pace. As good as this team is, the one thing it seemingly can't solve is Shungling's energy issues, so be sure to have Shungli use the Favonius Lance to solve this problem. Overall, this team is quite free to play friendly since half of it is made up of 4 stars. There's also Zhongli who most have, but for those in the category that don't have nor can use Zhongli, a pretty good replacement for Zhongli is Noelle, built for her shield. Now I know a good number of players are burnt out from using Benny and Zhongling together, they're played so frequently together that they can get old to play. So a good idea is then to use another double element pair. A pair that works quite well that mimics the strength of the last team while having really good strengths of their own is Yulan and Xingqiu. I know this duo is a popular pairing but its popular pairing has fallen off and it is worth trying again for Navia. Not only because the current Abyss has a lot of pyro shields but because the two hydros synergize well with Navia. See, Navia will be repeatedly normal attacking in order to trigger Crystallize. As such, you can deal very high passive damage when normal attacking if you play her with these two. But beyond passive damage, Yalan will make up for the lack of Bennett in this team with her damage increasing passive, so Navia will still be dealing high personal damage in this team. The next team we'll be talking about follows the archetype of the last few teams, but with some alterations. It is what I like to call Hyper Carry Navia. This specific team is my favorite team to play Navia in, and I've been playing it a ton. The reason I've been playing it a ton is firstly, since Navia and Farina are in the same team, the team feels new. It combines some of the best of Fontaine, so the team feels fresh to play. But more importantly, if it wasn't already obvious, this team is incredibly strong. It should come as no surprise since this team has three of the top buffers in the game. But given that Navia is already really strong, this makes for a very deadly combo. Replacing Shungling with Farina makes Navia hit like a nuke. My Navia isn't even fully built, nor does she have the proper artifact set, but her skill is consistently hitting above 100k at times 130 to 160k. This team deals really good damage, but the great thing is that it still retains all the pros of the double pyro team. For example, it's still comfy to play, and crystallized shards are frequently generated, since Farina's skill lasts for a long time and will be repeatedly attacking enemies. Now let's segue to a very important aspect of this team, which is the healer that you will pair with Farina. Remember that with Farina, the HP of your characters will be continuously drained. 
However, your characters will receive the max fanfare stacks if teamwide healing occurs and the healing is high. As great as Bennett is with Navia, his healing does not achieve these requirements. This is a big deal since if fanfare stacks are not properly achieved, Farina's buffs are ruined, your team misses out on a lot of damage, and there's little reason to even play Farina then. A healer that best achieves max fanfare stacks is Jean. Her healing meets the requirements last mentioned, so in truth you can play Jean with Navia, but it wouldn't exactly be optimal. For fear Descent does not apply to Geo, and to the other buffs Jean gives, it isn't all that useful for Navia. So Jean isn't a good support for Navia. But the good news is that Benny can be built to fit Farina. This is all done through switching his artifacts from 4 Noblesse to 4 Maidens. This set will increase his healing, such that it meets the requirements needed for fanfare stacks. The specific main stats you want to use is either energy recharge or HP for the sands, an HP goblet, and a healing bonus circlet. Now it's important to note that this does not completely solve the problem of Benny's healing. Rather, it's more of a way to improve his healing. With this build, you won't get the max fanfare stacks as you would with Jean's healing, but you'll certainly get more stacks than you'd otherwise get in his normal build. In hindsight, this might seem pointless, but it's actually quite a good thing. With this build, Benny will grant Navia his huge attack buff in addition to more damage percent through more fanfare stacks. This build essentially allows for the two most important buffs for Navia to occur at the same time, which again is a really good thing. We've talked quite a bit on the last team archetype, let's now move to an entirely different team with a different Geo teammate. Instead of using Zhongli, we'll be now using Albedo and playing the two together in a freeze team. This team may seem odd at first glance, but in practice, this team is actually cohesive and works really well, without the need of any vital buffer as the last teams did. The reason this team works so well all has to do with the way Freeze interacts with Navia. When playing her, you'll be constantly shooting enemies with her skill. However, her skill isn't automatic. You actually need to aim and shoot accurately with her skill to deal the most damage. This is certainly doable, yet it can be difficult to perform in the heat of battle or if enemies are constantly moving. But if enemies are frozen, this does not occur. Freeze works so well with Navia and it actually feels like a reaction meant for her since when enemies are frozen in place, Navia can easily get off clear and accurate shots dealing as much damage as possible with her skill to enemies. Freeze works perfectly with Navia's kit and playstyle, it really adds to her skill and I highly recommend trying this team out, especially if you're feeling bored of her more common teams. As per usual, you can play this team with the units you like, but I'd say it's best to stick to the units I'm using. For example, you can replace Layla with Diona, but Layla is a much better option. Layla is vital in this team, with her strong shield she'll protect Navia from the attacks of enemies, which is actually really important since on top of Freeze, since Navia wields a claymore, she will be performing shatter when you normal attack. Furthermore, Layla applies a good amount of cryo to enemies, enabling for crystallize, which is very important for Navia. Diona does not, hampering crystallize. So all in all, Layla is really good in this team. Though not required, she makes this team much stronger, which is nice to see since I know she doesn't get much love, but certainly in this team, she does. Last but not least is Yolan. She is also quite important because she solves a problem the team has, which is the lack of buffs. Though Layla is using for tenacity, so she is buffing Navia, this team does lose out on the number of buffs it gives to Navia in comparison to the previous teams we've gone over. So to fix this, I've played Yolan who will again be giving a damage buff to Navia on top of applying good Hydra for freeze, crystallize, and dealing high passive damage to enemies. It's also important to note that because the big supports of the other teams are not here, Navia's damage isn't as high, but the loss of damage is for the most part made up by Albedo and Yolan. Well everyone, these are all the teams I have for you today. I hope you tried these teams out and if you do, please let me know what you thought of them. Also, if you have any strong Navia teams that you play yourself, please share them in the comments. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And with that, thank you all for watching, take care, and thank you all once again.